Hello, it's been a few it's been a few months since we've last seen each other, so it's really good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. It's been a few yeah. minutes. We started this five minutes ago. Yeah. Good to see you. Oh my god, putting me good in the Okay. I mean, what I find really interesting that persists in spite of all of these changes in your growth, because you've been a band for what, how long now? 45 years, <laughs> yeah. seven years, seven years, six years, six years. Well, it's almost even funnier now, Hayden, that you're sitting in a car because it's that connection you have to cars and driving. Take bad posture and come smoke again. They're two different types of driving music. Um, bad posture is your first car, you're pulling drifties down the motorway, Mainly. fresh on your peas. And then on Club Smoke, you've traded in the 1990-something Nissan, Volkswagen, whatever, for limos, if you can, or Ubers, night buses, depending on your budget. Um, on, <laughs> on Club Smoke, there's references to Carreras and Cruises, on Athlean X trying to get big like a Benz truck, um, <laughs> references to fake IDs or your driver's licence, um, threatening to start cop chases while watching the heels roll on by compared <laughs> driveway pull-ups and car keys as accessories or jewelry or the best part of get buff that sample on the end i told you i don't like this car and i don't want you to buy it <laughs> Toll road. and the suburban cleansing that pricey freeways um wreck on the city or having bones thicker than tarmac and holes busted in beamers. Bruh, you know yeah. these songs better than I do. Come <laughs> on. Yeah. What is this? That's a, you got a shady, nasty trivia book with you or something? That's, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, that's crazy. That. This is respect, Maya. That's dope. Yeah. Well, I think what, what brings it together in particular is that dichotomy of driving as being both a really like one on one experience, but also a group activity um, or that feeling of being alone in a room full of people like at the gym or even on tour knowing all of that what's your take on this whole car iconography is shady nasty is that subconscious or intentional i think we kevin and i don't shut up about it it's, probably... yeah, it's, de it's deeply very deeply embedded in in the band's aesthetic and um just content because both hayden and i uh love cars almost as much as music and it's like every day we're like around them yada yada and it's initially i was i was like i was wary because i was like oh i don't want everything to be about cars even though like that's all i can think about all day um but that has that has changed and you realize the nuance the nuances in um just what cars are for and like the parts exactly. of life they're involved in and yeah yeah i think you also gotta you gotta watch it a little bit i mean like my mom is the only one in the house that uh doesn't know about cars doesn't care about cars and uh my brother and my dad we, we have to watch our language at the dinner table because it'll be before you know it Mum's cooked a beautiful dinner and we're talking about differentials. And that's um, that's never a good thing. So, probably a bit the same thing. Wait, you still live at home, bro? Uh, oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> it is in I'm still I'm still 24. <laughs> <laughs> but, right, okay. Knowing all of that, you could kind of extend that same dichotomy as well to you know, the act of touring and being live on tour, that simultaneously being alone, but together with people. In a car. It's, yeah. It's it's so funny to me because you're a three-piece band. You could, you could all fit in one car, and yet on tour you each travel separately in your own cars <laughs> rather than being together. No, nah. Luke, Luke travels separately in his own car. Um, <laughs> no, that guy can't drive. Uh, but, but, but no, no, it, de it depends. I think we have, we've done, um, 
ones where we've taken Kevin and I have taken a car. Uh, it's mostly we try and do one. Oh. Hated. Oh, he's, he's lost it. How, how, what's your take on the car thing, Winter? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really funny because I don't have a license and I have like avoided, um, yeah, avoided getting my license or avoided, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really funny because like I'm so, I have this really active interest in, in the way that, that cars look. And again, like, you know, the emotions that cars might inspire for different social activities, but like I have no autonomy over uh, half of those experiences because i don't drive by myself um but it's funny to like i have to imagine those experiences myself and i guess you get that through like i don't know watching movies or watching video like i, I guess i watch so much vlogs of people in cars and stuff maybe i have I have internalized that experience in some specific way um the stuff that we do, like you said, you know, it kind of is subconsciously and consciously inspired by like being on the road in this city that is just such a jumble of like landscapes, people and, and, and um, I don't know, sort of, yeah, like architecture. Hmm. Love that. 